Same question, what's your favorite thing about this guy right here? Oh, favorite thing about TJ? He's leaving now, so I say that. <laughs> no. Um, you know, just being around him, he's a great overall guy. You know, he's a younger guy, but he knows his stuff. And, you know, it's awesome. You know, he, he'll be able to call you out on stuff, you know, stuff I'm doing wrong, stuff he's doing wrong, and, you know, we can communicate with each other. That's a real big thing on, like, teamship and making each other better. So I love that about him. And, you know, so we're really always stepping each other's game up. You think you guys' running styles kind of complement each other? Definitely, yeah. You know, he uh, – his vision might be a little better than mine, but uh, no. But anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna say that because he's here. But uh, mm -hmm. no, overall, um, like you were saying, more vertical downhill. That's kind of you know our style. You know, but also you know, with Chip Kelly, you don't really know what kind of kind of runs you're getting into. So mid zone stuff like that. But I would say overall, yeah, we're kind of like the same type. We like to get more downhill. Have you heard the nickname Hardened Steel? <laughs> I have. I love it. Yep. I've, I've seen it on Twitter a little bit. So, yep. I've seen that little one-two combo kind of thing right there. So, I'm loving it. <laughs> You've had spring and now about half fall camp uh, to, to experience Chip Kelly and what he does. You know, what are your thoughts on how he puts together plays? Uh, it's, it's a little difficult. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, you know, just being able to watch him break down, you know, Coach Kelly, watch him break down plays and stuff like that and being able to – think of something to correct something else and being able to you know put a piece in where something was missing just him being able to you know snap his fingers and do that right away and then us you know it's obviously hard you know to learn those plays but it's easy in a way because you know we have all these signals stuff like that so him just being able to do that just on demand like that that's the reason why you know UCLA has been so successful over the past time he's been here. The defense has a lot of players returning you know what's it like going against guys like uh, uh, Femi, Carl Jones, uh, Latu? Yeah, you know, like you were saying, we got a lot of returners. They also got some transfers too. Uh, you know, you got some NFL dudes in there and more than one. And, um, you know, going against them every day, it just makes me better overall. And, you know, it really helps me being able to see how, you know, they're going to play, you know. Back in high school, you could get away with things and stuff like that at the lower level of college. You could get away with things that you can't hear, you know. So that really helps me kind of develop some more of this, uh, you know, running back. How much of uh, Chip Kelly's reputation, especially with, you know, using multiple running backs. How much of that did you know beforehand and how much are you now learning about it? I, I knew a little bit, you know, I knew, you know, as obviously he was with the Eagles and stuff like that. I knew he's at Oregon and stuff like that. But, you know, just being able to get here and watch him to see how much he could use, you know, so many running backs. I mean, we have dudes, you know, pass and run and block and like we can, you know, we have running backs, you know, real deep room, we can do it all. And, uh, you know, that's just being able to watch him, you know, create plays for us to, you know, benefit overall for all of us. You know, that's really been an awesome thing over this past spring. Titus was telling us that like the receivers do stuff to bond like over and uh -huh. and whatnot. So is there anything that the running backs are kind of doing? Um, there is. So we, we usually try to pick out at least a day we get off, which not many out here, but uh, <laughs> try to, you know, get together and go do something. Coach Foss is real good about that. He'll come with us. So, you know, we went bowling one time, top golf, just being able to get together. And, uh, you know, last time Coach Foss invited all the past running backs to, you know, the dudes in the NFL. So I got to see Zach, you know, Kelly, all those guys. And it was pretty cool just being able to talk to those dudes and see how they, you know, experienced college here and got through everything. And now are on the next level is too well. So. Yeah. How does that, like, add to the credibility in your eyes if you see yeah, that's, I mean, just like you were saying, you know, Coach Voss, he's had, I don't even know what it is now, so many running backs in the last, you know, so many years go to the NFL. Just being able to watch that, and especially having Zach go last year as well, you can see, you know, how much like, credibility there is with, you know, Coach Kelly's offense, and especially with Coach Voss, you know, watching him being able to develop somebody into a next, you know, next level type running back. What do you think of LA? Do you have any uh, spots that you like uh, hanging out? With? Um, I haven't gone out too crazy, so but uh, Santa Monica, you know the the OG spot. That's kind of a big part of me. I like to go there a lot, and, you know, see the pier stuff like that. But uh, going from Indiana to LA, it's a little different. So being out here, um, it's awesome. Loving the weather, especially too. So, but yeah, definitely being able to go to the beach too. That's another thing as well. Your uh, teammates mentioned. I guess you had an incident with a, your a pet alligator with your thumb, I guess? Not with thumb. I have a few <laughs> scars here and there on my hands. Yeah, you guys can't see. You can see a couple few here and there. But that was when I was younger. I'm good now, so.
you know people they take it a little too far so they've got my hand bitten off or something like that <laughs> but uh no yeah I've had a few few incidents but nothing crazy so <laughs> are you you and Colin are, are rooming together right mm -hmm. you guys gonna be watching some action together? I think we are yeah a little bit of action right before we go to our walkthroughs and stuff so yeah it's gonna be an awesome thing you know being able to you know play against Colin and then be his roommate you know it's one to nine you know get to work with him as well so Today was full pads for you guys, so how much do you look forward to those days and who are your favorite guys to go against? Oh man, that's awesome. Um, you know, just being able to, like you were saying, looking forward to season. I don't know how many days, it's like 20, 19 days, something like that. And you know, Coach Kelly, he's real big on not uh, bringing people to the ground, staying safe, you know, so being able to get that, just that little contact and you know, you know kind of gets you ready for the season. But. Uh, Honestly, uh, just being able to go against like the whole defense, you know, obviously that defensive line, you know, they're always chipping away at it. And, you know, like you guys were saying, there's just some dudes on those, that defense and, uh, you know, being able to go with them every day, like I was saying, kind of develops you more as a player. So. Does the limited contact at practice kind of make it like more satisfying during games when you can go all out? Yeah, it does a little bit. Personally for me, uh, I feel that, uh, you know, like, being able to not have so much contact before the season, you know, you're able to last throughout the season, especially as a running back standpoint, you're kind of always getting beat up on, you know, so definitely being able to have that, you know, mentality where you can tag off, but kind of give a little bit of contact here and there. It really helps you kind of develop the, not at a point to where, you know, you're hurting all the time, but you get sore here and there, but you're still ready to go for a game day, so. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.